This question or comment comes to us from Scott Berg and he wants to know about the loop drill. First of all, what is the loop and why are you trying to do it? Okay, so when you watch the tour players, almost every single one, I don't even know one anymore, who on their backswing, by the time their, their club gets to waist high or the club gets parallel to the ground, the club head is even with or to the golf ball side of their hands. Nobody has the club back here, why? If the club gets back here too soon, it can't keep going that way. So what happens is if it goes here too soon, then it's gonna lift. And as it lifts, now the momentum of the club is moving out. So your body then is gonna tend to pick up the momentum of the club, and then you're gonna get this over the top move. Now there have been a few players, Craig Stadler, even Sam Sneed to some degree, who took the club a little inside and worked the club out onto the right swing arc. They didn't give above their swing plane, they got right back out onto it. If somebody does that when they show up, I'm not gonna fix them. Because when they start down and they get to waist high, they're perfect, but most people don't do that. Most people, once the momentum of the club goes this way, then it's gonna lift and go this way and that takes you right out and over the top. So, when you see these players, they take the club where you see them practice and the club's here. Some even want it out here farther. What happens is now the momentum of the club's out there. Now, as the club goes up, it's constantly moving away from the ball. So then when they change directions, because the club head's moving this way and they change directions, that helps keep their right shoulder and their right hip back and it shallows their arms in the club so they can come into the ball on the right angle of approach. Now, the club head is doing more of the circling than my arms are. I mean, my arms are going pretty much straight back and straight down. They come, they shallow a little bit, but the club head's making a pretty good sized loop. So if I do it with a wedge, and the question was, will that work? It's the same thing. The club's out here, it goes up, and it makes a loop. So even with this club, it makes a loop. So we go to the driver. What does this one do? It does the same thing. It's here, it's there, it goes up, it loops to the inside. So even the driver makes a slight loop or shallows, that's the word you hear now. If you get the momentum of the club going correctly, that shallowing happens automatically when you change directions. You don't have to force it to happen. Hi, this is Mike Malaska from malaskagolf.com. We're gonna talk a little bit here about your hips. Everybody talks about how their hips move up into the ball. Well, the biggest reason they do is you go back and when you start down, you try to push off your right side. It's not a push off and turn your hips. When you start down, your left leg pushes your left hip out of the way. So it's just moving this hip socket back. So really I go back and my left hip goes back to meet my right hip. It's concepts like that at malaskagolf.com that are gonna make it a lot easier for you to play the game. So go to malaskagolf.com, sign up, get the confusion out of your head, play a lot better golf.